What's up, Weeboo Gang? What's up? Welcome back to Baki. Yeah, how are you guys doing today? How are all of you fine people doing on this fine day? We hope you're doing fine on this fine day, fine people. Super fine. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Is that HD? Super fine? Ultra fine? Yeah, dude, we're talking yeah. HD. We go in 4K maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're back with some Baki episode 23. Oh, yeah. Dang, did we skip an episode? Was last episode We were 21, weren't we? What's going on? God. I thought we were 21. There it is. Yeah, we for some reason we skipped an episode. We're on 22. We're on 22. We're on 22. Okay. So episode 22, yeah. not 23. <laughs> um, so episode 22, a lot of things happen. Shukorsky and Doi and Jack. What is his name? Shukorsky and Yanagi. Yanagi. Oh. They fought Baki. They lost. Mm -hmm. Hanayano came. Uh, Baki ran away, Hanayama was like, I'm not fighting. So TTYL, yeah. TTG. And then Katsumi and Doyle, what happened with them? Yeah, um, they started, Katsumi and Doyle became like friends and he was like, hey, before you go, teach me how to do this. Saika. Yeah. It's on a Saika. Yeah, and they like, he gave Doyle a black belt and then he saw Doyle being all like kind of happy and then boom. Yeah, fucking Yanagi comes out of nowhere. Super salty Either. and trying to make somebody commit like senpoku, mm -hmm. even though Doyle's not even Japanese. Yeah. So respect is cultural. Right? <laughs> oh, <geez>. Right? <laughs> he's, he's like, yeah, you know, in my country, when somebody loses, they take their own life and the, their friend helps them cut off their head. True, very true, true. but Doyle's not from around here. So. Doyle's, um, what is he? Is he American? I think he's either English or Scottish. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. One of those. Oh, no. um, but yeah, or some shit. Doyle went blind. Mm -hmm. um, he escaped, and then I don't know. They ended up in the telephone booth. Yeah, Jack and Sikorsky in yeah. that each telephone booth, and apparently he's the best rock climber on earth that doesn't even rock climb. <laughs> that finger strength, though. Yeah. So let's get into it. All right. All right. Episode twenty-two. Ooh, Clash of the Alphas. Okay, it does seem like Clash of the Alphas. What was it the clash of the betas? <laughs> Beta XL. Or the omegas. <laughs> All right, Baki episode 22. Yeah, having a blast. All right, Baki episode 22. Uh, the what most you awkward phone move. Who are you talking to? You may be bigger you than me, like, but you don't believe what happened. I'm not talking to my little friend. He's He's too too jacked jacked to came into the phone room. <laughs> Talking to my girlfriend, I and she just kept talking about our relationship, and I was just like trying to get out of the boat. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. I would not like that either. Ow. If I was Jack, I'd just break the phone booth. <laughs> I need like green bit auto when like the car starts shaking. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. This guy's like a freaking tank. Oh. That's so wild. Sorry. I'm in your way, guys. Can I go now? Fucking knock out. You see how high that telephone oh, booth was? Oh my god, I feel bad for him. I know. And his relationship is already on the rocks. So he paid at least 25 cents for that experience. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like sitting on that dude's head. Turns. He's, he, he's a unit. A genius. Good this evening. Is massive. Two men in black. Will Smith. Cricket. <laughs> Aliens. 
I feel so bad for that person in there. Is he still in there? You're practically a giant now. Oh, it's that guy. Even though I stand six two, oh, yeah. the FBI I dude. Up to talk yeah, like peed on by Jack and his own dream. Even taller than oh, Toba yeah. now. In any case, though, it's like, don't I'm never talk so to happy girl. to accept your little proposal. I don't know you, bitch. This will be good. Sikorsky is finally going to pay for what he did to me that day. <laughs> oh, dude. You would do or say anything to see me. I was skin. like, dude, you would even lick my that's like the ultimate humiliation. It's a bullet hole. Just relax. No need to hide it from me. Yes, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh my god, dude, the collarbone. Oh, the face. Teeth. The feet. <laughs> Crunch that face. would fucking suck. I know. Oh the worst part is he paid for all those <laughs> and they were used to beat him on. <laughs> Too bad to when we were up. so close to a real breakthrough. Oh god, and he peed on him. He's nasty. He's fucking vile, dude. Guys. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? Why is our second reaction oh so much like Ooh. more surprised than our first reaction to this? <laughs> Did we see it in that much detail? Yeah. Uh, they just straight up copy and paste that for the first for all Remix. put me through hell, but it's going to be worth it after what happens to him. I don't know, wait till he breaks out of that telephone booth. I know, right? That guy is still in there, <laughs> What do they dude. think that's doing to them? Okay. Let's move out, men. Jack on the... Feels like I'm moving. It's cold. Probably glass. Something doesn't feel right. I'm upside down. <laughs> Neck. Dude, it's so fucking big. What the hell is going on here? Wait. The telephone booth. Now I remember. I must still be in the telephone booth. I'm surprised someone can take that much of a beating and still be alive, mm -hmm. honestly. I was fighting that giant in here. But the big question now is, where are we going? We stopped. What's that sound? The guy is still there. Poor guy. No way. What? <laughs> They're back at the underground arena. Now you must fight. It's like one of those Doctor Who moments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're just right like, oh, I'm here. Damn. Oh, 
all these people watching the legal festivities. <clears throat> Come on down. Oh, I feel bad for that dude. Like the horn. Oh, there he is. Well, well, Sikorsky. It seems like you're a hit with the fans. <sighs> So this is your doing? Yes, Sikorsky. <laughs> but from here, it's your choice. Uh, you can run, you can man. fight, or you can simply admit defeat. This is a bare-knuckle brawl, and that's the only rule there is. <sighs> but any it's brawl by its very brawl. nature is one where the rules are forgotten. So it's up to you whether you want to follow them or not. I've already told the crowd that you're a death row inmate. <laughs> A man with nothing to lose. So now, just like them, I can't wait to see your dirty fighting. <laughs> Destiny has brought together these two Uber Alpha males. They will fight anywhere in the world simply for your pleasure. In the frozen Antarctic, at the bottom of the sea, in the main streets this of the city. This guy's voice must really project. All right. Mm -hmm. In this friendly he's got no underground ears, arena. He's got no mice. Right? You're not thinking you got a raw deal here, are you, Sikorsky? Fine with me. Let's get on yes. with it already. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, let the battle begin! Damn ready. He's literally finding a giant. The irony of the situation was striking. If there's a ring and an opponent and a big enough paycheck, I'll fight any time. Right now, if you want. You just give the word and I'll be there, little man. Yes, but you do realize, don't you, that none of the fighters in my arena get paid? Yeah, but that's different. Your tournaments are famous. A win there is a huge boost to a fighter's reputation. And that there is money in the bank. Oh, talk for an amateur just coming up the ranks. Well, I guess I get that <laughs> from my manager. You can blame him. <laughs> <laughs> the word has been given. Dude, I miss this music. They never use it anymore. Oh my gosh. Damn, dude, his face got fucking zoroed. It's like the worst. In a public setting? A fighter who fights only on cue should not call himself a martial artist. A match is a match and nothing more. Only a mere rehearsal. You can rehearse all you want, but it means nothing. It's not to be confused with the real thing. I'm calling an ambulance! Those were Sikorsky's exact oh, no. words to a fighter he had easily defeated. But now, they had come back to haunt him. If a real fight is one that can happen anytime, anywhere, then the one that was about to unfold in front of thousands of cheering fans was definitely Thank no you. rehearsal. For this was no random, ordinary time. And it was no ordinary place. This was the Tokyo Dome Underground Arena. Sick. Damn. Chest day. He's like The Rock, dude. The Rock's mm -hmm. like the tallest motherfucker on TV. Good news, <laughs> right? This will be fun. And remember, there are no rules. 
He's so mad. Then I can cheer his ass on. Well, bring it on! Damn. It's like Careful what you're against asking for. his every every fiber of his being. <laughs> He's a wrestler. Damn. Oh, fuck. Dude, look at the size of Jack's neck. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> Like not way more really than that. Yeah. I wonder if that can attest to how many battles they've I done, or if this guy's just this. so much better than Bucky. Oh, that's happened. Why would I expect anything else? So it's like it's that. Be a joust. <sighs> You're gonna be sorry. Huh? <laughs> 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 steel. Holy shit! You think you can gut me? You're gonna need something sharper than that. Oh no. This monster's on a whole other level. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they all look like a fucking new hero, girl. Fucking wild, dude. Jeez. He legit did the cherry trick with the nail. <laughs> but we have another opponent for you. Oh, who's it gonna be? Who's this guy? It's got a sick man. It's like Krillin. of environmental combat. He looks like a punk and a lightweight. He looks like a pop. <laughs> oh, do my eyes deceive me? It's Gaia. Gaia nearly killed Bucky back name. in his training days. <laughs> the crowd thinks he looks harmless. They have no idea. It's a sellout crowd. Oh, what the hell is this joker? He couldn't beat up my mother. This isn't a he couldn't beat up my mother. Could you be like that? I know. It's a real question. Why do I got to bring your mom into this? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He got both holes. 
the frequencies, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just imagine what I could do if I had a microphone, huh? How'd you like death row? It's <laughs> casual. I'll give you a sec to get your hearing back again. So can you hear me now? <sighs> That's good. And I hear we can fight using anything Dude, we want, what right? Is that muscle on his back? <laughs> that, too many muscles together to put that one up. Damn. Or maybe this. A gun? Oh, John Wick. Relax. Yeah, I never taint my reputation or stoop so low as to use a weapon procured ahead of time. That's the opposite of environmental combat. You see, using the environment means only using the things you have around you and using them in some surprising ways. That's what environmental combat is all about. Oh. Let me demonstrate. Oh, shit. Oh. Ew. That's disgusting. Teeth? Are you starting to get the idea? I guess there was teeth and sand in the, in the fighting arena. How did this- Damn. How can those people? I love those. Even a small amount of water can <laughs> a dangerous weapon in my hands. A handful of sand. Gaia means is like earth, better. so it makes sense that he like he's a little better. Fingernails, yeah. whatever, anything I can find. You don't clean up the teeth after the fight. It's very unhygienic. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, it's like a shotgun blast. Oh my gosh. Damn. Dude. Damn. What did you think about Gaia? I like that they just brought him up like at the end out of surprise and he can use the environment. Yeah, he's, and he's like pretty fast. Gaia. I know, he seems cool. I like him. I like him. I think the biggest surprise was that there's so much teeth like in the sand. Yeah, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I guess they don't clean up after the battles, you know? Um, you know, when you're an alpha, you don't clean up the teeth. You get people to do that, and yeah. when they don't do that, the teeth will just stay there. <laughs> right? Am I right? Dude, they don't know what they're missing out on. They could have had a lot of like fairy tooth visits. Fairy tooth business? Fairy, what is it? You're gonna cash fairy, out? Yeah, you're like, cash you're like out. a nice paycheck. Exactly, dude. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what would you rate this episode? I would rate it a seven and a half. Ooh, so you liked it better than last episode. Yeah, I liked, I liked Guy. I liked the introduction yeah. of him. I like the whole fight and the telephone booth, and mm -hmm. I felt horrible for the guy making a call to his girlfriend. Yeah. But, he seemed kind of like a sketchy dude, the way his girlfriend was talking about He's already getting bitched out at. Yeah. <laughs> he got the ultimate bitched out at, yep. honestly. And then he ended up like, gosh, she's still in the telephone booth, like knocked out. He's like upside down, like beep beep, like backing out, yeah. Yeah, normally people put in a quarter for like a gumball, like a little ride, like on some machine at the mall, but this dude got like, two jacked blonde dudes like fighting in a telephone booth. Bro, he definitely got more than he bargained for. Yeah. <laughs> Way more. Um, but I'd probably wait it like a, I think a seven, seven more five also. All right, so we're on the same page. It was a pretty good episode. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, Jack like punching up on that telephone booth and the telephone booth literally flying off the ground. He's strong as fuck. Like what kind of force do you have to have behind that? It's wild. For some gods. Yeah, but then he just walked away and let this uh, guy come on the show. Yeah. So he's probably pretty strong too, mm -hmm. or 
maybe Sikorsky is just not worth his time. Well, like it seems like people are pretty hyped on him. Um, well, the old man is like, "Whoa, is that is that Kaya? He, he put he gave Baki a run for some money in his training. Yeah, days. dude. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm stuck to see him fight. Me too. And we're almost done with the season, so yeah. Shoot. How many more episodes? Two. Two. Damn. Two more episodes. Two and more. We're wrapping up. Hopefully, in time for. The release of Baki season two. Yeah, so, in July or June? June. June. So comment down below. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you're stoked on this episode and stoked for season two. That's right. What do you guys think of this episode? Hit us up with that Wean Gang tomato score. And be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. Because that goes a long way. Yeah. And we love you guys. And we'll see you next week. Peace. 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 Believe it. No. Be the next Hokage. <laughs>